Hello everyone, Darcy Bono here. In this video, we're going to be discussing an upcoming Kickstarter by Redgrass Games. Now, this is their Everlasting Wet palette. They're going to be introducing an Everlasting Wet palette too. And why that is special is because it has a new hydration membrane. Now, let me preface this video by saying that this video isn't going to be about why you should use a wet palette, what is a wet palette. This is going to be why you should use this wet palette. So this is the Studio XL size. This is the standard size. They're going to be upgrading both of these in their Kickstarter. And the link for that is also in the description. Uh, that's got a couple more details on uh, some more features that will be included in the Kickstarter, but the real selling point for me is what I'm about to show you. So. You take the lid off, you've got your hydration membrane here. Um, this is essentially what keeps your paints wet um, and allows the osmosis and the water to permeate it but not totally saturate it. Um, and the selling point is this. Unlike other wet palettes on the market, this hydration membrane is reusable. Watch this. This is just a standard baby wipe, just a, a wet wipe. I'm not using any additional force here. I'm just wiping casually and it cleans off. And then you just flatten it back out. That's it. That's reusable. That means you can just, you don't have to swap out your paper after a, a heavy use of it. Basically, you can do that as many times as you want. If you try this with other wet palettes, the paper is parchment and it will tear if you scrub it like that. This does not. So, amazing. What's extra amazing is what I'm going to show you next if you're still not sold on this. I actually uh, pre-recorded this because I had about two weeks worth. You can see the shadows left here. This isn't actual paint. This is just stain from that. This does not come off in my paints when I use it again. Uh, so I had about two weeks worth of paints accumulated on this. It, you'll see, it looks horrific. It looks like a, a satanic Dalmatian. Um, so, <laughs> so you'll see me scrubbing off two weeks worth of paint. And just to ensure that I gave it the best hardest test I could, I left the top off for an entire day. I did do this on purpose, though I have done it before by accident. So um, you will see dried paint, or quote, dried paint. This works so well that even after leaving the top off, it wasn't completely dry, dried on. So you will see that in the next uh, upcoming shot. Welcome to the nightmarish hellscape that is an unorganized wet palette. Now, this is a utility sink. All of this was caused by other paint activities, not from cleaning this. So, this is what we do. First things first, you take the hydration membrane off the wet palette. Place the wet palette aside somewhere else. Next, you're going to turn on some water. In this case, I use just both hot and cold water, so it is a warm mix of both. Next, using a small, or actually it's not that small, it's a foundation brush uh, with soft bristles, we're going to lightly scrub this. And uh, the reason I'm using a makeup brush is just because of the width of it. It gives good coverage and lets me cover a large amount of area at uh, one time. So I'm not doing anything in particularly special here. I'm just lightly brushing back and forth. I'm not applying hardcore pressure. I'm just letting the brush go to work on this. So watch this. Watch how quick this is. This is real time. I have not sped this up at all. Watch. And on the furthest side of the palette here are, is an area where paint has dried a little bit more on there. But again, it's coming right off. I'm having to apply like a tiny bit more pressure, but I have little to no elbow grease involved in getting completely dried paint off a wet palette. That has not happened prior to this product. If you tried this without using a hydration membrane, you'd tear the paper. You'd at least um, grind it down to the point where particles of the paper were coming off and making your wet palette a, a nightmare. So in literally a couple minutes, after s some light scrubbing and a rinse, I've cleaned off two weeks of paint from this thing. It's amazing. Yes, there's a couple little shadows left of paint, there's a few flex specks here and there, but overall this is entirely reusable again, and I can't get over how quick and easy it was to clean that. So here's what you do next once it's done. 
So what I'm doing now is applying a replacement membrane while the other one dries off. You're going to fill your wet palette just above the foam level. You're going to take another piece of membrane. These actually come in a pack. This is one I've cleaned previously, so not the one we just did. Um, you can always let your other one just sit and dry. You don't have to do a replace immediately, but this is uh, an example of how you replace your membrane. So you just lay it on top, spread it across, and try and prevent uh, any water from spilling over the edge onto the top of it. I, I would recommend draining it um, like you see here. Don't let it overflow onto the membrane itself, otherwise your paints could dilute and kind of start to spread across it and just cause a big mess. You're just gonna smooth out the membrane and um, just get rid of any air bubbles in there. And then, like I'm doing here, just drain off any excess water that's that's kind of reaching over the top. And you'll start to see it start to turn this darker shade of gray. That's how you know it's getting saturated. So that is pretty much it. Uh, you'll see a few spots here and there, but again, it's clean and ready to use again. Okay, well, I hope that demonstration showed you just how amazing this product is. Um, I assure you, I have not been paid to say these things. They gave me one of these to try out and said, if you like it, tell people. So here I am telling you that you should get this product because it is different and better than anything else I've tried on the market. So this is the pack of the little special membranes here. You get, I believe in the Kickstarter, you will get 20. Um, I'll have to double check that, but I'll include the Kickstarter link in there as well. So you've got plenty to work with should these eventually wear out. So definitely check them out. It launches on May 20th. So make sure to click the notify me button so you can be notified once it actually launches. And thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And until we meet again, happy painting.